so we're here with Lindsay today. And there's Wanda. Hi, Wanda. Hi. And Lindsay, why don't you tell us what procedure you're getting and why you would like to get it? Um, so today I'm actually getting the uh, holes in my ears closed. They're there from gauging them. Um, I gauged them about 15 years ago and I went up to this size. Whoa. So they were pretty large and I've had my earrings out for about eight years now. So that's as small as they've gotten on their own with no jewelry in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why did you decide that you wanted to do this? Um, basically, I really do like the look of gauged ears, but I also really, really miss wearing small earrings and I can't obviously put small earrings through here. Um, I can't wear hoops, even if I put them through tunnels, it just looks weird. Mm -hmm. um, and I've just noticed that, you know, if I put in uh, a plug, because they were stretched so small, they actually, the plug will act like weights and just keep pulling it bigger again. So mm -hmm. there's really no option for me as far as wearing anything in my ear at this point. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to do today. We're just going to inject both sides, very similar thing. This is kind of the routine I use. If you pull it together, I'll show you here, you know, with a big droopy earlobe like that. So if it's just pulled together, that's the earlobe you'd end up with this hanging earlobe. So this is excess of tissue. And we want to bring this back and this over like this is how we're going to close that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're playing off this. Now, if this ever shrinks up or it doesn't do vas well vascular wise then yeah you want to bring this over but we want to use as much tissue as we can so that's what we're going to do today okay mm -hmm. and then will we close the second hole as well or just leave that well, one? I can let's do a little punch we'll do a little punch and put a stitch in there now you mean the this hole here or the one in the middle uh the one in the middle okay i'm excited <laughs> i was it's a hard decision actually to make but I'm super excited now. Yeah. So we're gonna numb and then we'll get you all prepped up, okay? Okay. Okay, this is the numbing. creating a little bit of an M, an M notching to be how we're going to close. tissue in there, you know. Mm -hmm. The expansion process hurt at all? Oh yeah, it throbs. It's just kind of ongoing until you get to the size you want.
It's Lindsay again. Hi. And Lindsay is recovering from her gauge repair, her earlobe repair. And um, Lindsay, tell us a little bit about the recovery and healing process. Did you have any surprises? And how you feel about your results? Um, so right now I'm about a week and a half post-op and I just got my sutures taken out a couple days ago. So for about the first week, the sutures stayed in. Um, it was super easy to clean my ears. I just had to keep ointment on them. Um, anybody who wants to do this surgery, you do have to give yourself a little recovery time. You don't want to be out in the sun and um, just making sure that you're being careful around your ears. But I am super, super happy with the results. Um, if we can zoom in a little bit. My ears look just completely normal again, and I am just shocked. I mean, with it only being a week and a half out, you really can't see any sort of line. Everything looks super smooth, and I even found an old picture of myself, and it looks just like I did when I was a little girl. So I couldn't be more pleased with um, how my ears look, and yeah, I just say anybody who's thinking about it, you should definitely do it. That's awesome. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you.